headed back to the pits. We'll see it again, watch the background, straight into the gravel and straight over. That's a big accident for Harvey. Sie should to gehen. Ja, für möglich auch check up. Jetzt sehen wir noch mal, was passiert ist. Oder hat aber vorher schon ein Problem. Da ist ein Problem. Motorplatzer und dann rutscht er auf seinem eigenen Öl aus, würde ich mal fast vermuten. Ja, genau so ist es. Ei, 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 ei. Ach du Scheiße. Dann noch mal aufgestiegen. Hoch ganz seitlich überschlagen. <lacht> Dann noch zwei weitere dahinter, die auch auf dieser Ölspur natürlich ausrutschen. Ich habe gesagt, das war vorher schon zu... And that's a brilliant start for Kaz Havakur. Immediately he gets the jump on Tramnitz. And Havakur will lead us down to turn one. It's going to be a battle on the brakes, I think. But Havakur has just about snatched it. Havakur now leads... Oh, Kamara's off. Kamara and Dubek off into the barriers there. Contact between the pair of them, it seems. And both of them out of the race. So, have a court lead. Point Hello. from Team Radio in a moment, but we're going to have a little look at the replay. Goes round the outside. Is there going to be contact from behind? No. It's Waiting for the bang. Is he going to try and go down the inside ah. of Portier? He's going to hit the inside barrier. That yeah, was with so the Quinta. So that is why the Quinta was going. As they send their way around the outside of Luffield, the 37 is trying to make his way up. There's a bit of contact, and that'll be Cooper Webster sent straight off, and potentially he has hit the barrier. So Webster will be out. He's into the gravel trap. Fairbairn's able to carry on, uh, but I've got to say, there might have been... That is... Yeah, Fairbairn actually, actually looks like he left the circuit to maintain the position. I can't see specifically, so the stewards will have a better look at that. But then we go side by side through Luffield. At this point, yeah, Cooper Webster's still actually ahead. Fair Ben now alongside, just trying to get on the power at this point of the circuit. And this is where the contact happens very late in the corner. Yeah, there's definitely enough space on the inside that Fair Ben could have given yeah. Cooper Webster more stay space. And unfortunately, that meant they both went off and then into the wall. The tie bar is doing their job and absorbing some of the impact, but that is still a lot of damage on Cooper. Going through the S's, oh, so it was further around the track. That's track five. Just hit the curbing at exactly the wrong angle, yeah. and it unsettled the car. He's not the. Apando no bacio, vem para parte de dentro. Tem strike, tem carro rodando. Minha nossa! Todo mundo vai indo embora. Provavelmente, olha na pista. Que strike impressionante! Estamos visualizando aqui. Impressionante. Tem carro capotado. Meu Deus. Bandeira verde indescritível o que estamos vendo no bacião. Vamos conferir? Hum, rapaz, olha só. Carro de numeral 51 do Fausto acabou derramando óleo por ali, teve o um problema e aí todo mundo que veio virou passageiro. Puxa de novo esse replay pra gente, porque é simplesmente impressionante como não tem o que ser feito. Conferir o um momento que é o capotamento do bacarinho, olha só. Muito semelhante ao capotamento, ah, por sorte foi muito tranquilo. Foi já em baixíssima velocidade ali o capotamento do Bacarim. Mas olha como os pilotos que vão vindo, nossa. to pick up the pace, but he's going to lose out to the second speed car Audi, which loses the brakes completely and into the back of Beltoise. Just caught the, the, the bumps there and Beltoise's car is out. The rear left suspension uh, is broken and... And then obviously we have the stationary McLaren. Now look in the background. Bang, bang, bang. It's Alex Denning that takes the big hit. But we are told that everybody is okay. As though the uh, the rest of the uh, the rest of the car underneath that is fine. It was a big wobble coming down through Rainey that just pinched the car off, and he went off onto the gravel at almost unabated speed there was no in fact there was no slowing down there was he slapped the wall on the right hand side lucky not to have done some suspension or driving damage he turned in and the back end just sliding away and he got a couple of little wobbles and then just missed the end of the tires and hit the unguarded concrete um, let's see here, here we pick up on replay well done to the guys for being so so quick with this uh, as we look at the uh, matt kojewski car um through the hairpin i just ah uh, I wonder Austin. if he just, I think he just, just touched one wheel on the painted white line. See what happens. So here's Canada Corner. Will Power, Romain Grosjean, Scott Dixon moving slowly there. And he, oh wow. He let Grosjean go by and didn't know Power was coming. He, he's just trying to, oh wow. And straight into concrete as well. No tire barriers there, no safer barriers. Oh 
of the speedway, but now he's got a bit of toe out. So you get the feeling he's part of who he is. Oh, what? One, two, three, four, five cars in it. Two don't come out the other side of it. Yeah, it That's looked like we were what was then the, the category. Here's the uh, 79 car just trying. The third. That's the uh, 41. So this is what happened. Or 31. 31. That's the uh, 31. Oh, and then the Ferrari goes through. Good heavens. Wow, that, that came in super Came quick. in really hot. Dixon kissed the barrier, but I I, I think he just barely kissed that, it if yeah. he kissed it. Yeah. yeah. He got oh, the Ferrari it. kissed him on the way by as well. Yeah. There you go. And the caddy, uh, again, just nope, a small just, touch. Just missed it. And got lucky that he didn't get collected <laughs> by the Porsche, who then hits the barrier. Wow. Yeah, but the point of my, my, my story... ...a una toccata qui cerqui. E poi è uscito anche Zlutsky con la vettura di kind of shenanigans um but oh, oh huge accident me. oh my word mr j lock lamborghini off the road exiting 130 yard i'm not sure there's a second car involved no it's not nelson Monteiro, the new piece maybe let's see what happened there wow that's roman zinkevich and the other car i think might have been in the aftermath carlos off the spin by roman zinkevich I think so. I didn't identify a car, but I was thinking here, Sergio, we had a very clear... Making the move here. Is it going to be long enough to get fully alongside in the head? Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Campbell's laying the brakes. Not quite. As Mackenzie Cresswell looks up the inside, unfortunately spinning around. He's going to be right in the middle of the pack. Can everyone avoid him? Nicely done by the rest of the grid because Mackenzie Cresswell... Oh, and there's a fight. That's, I think that is the Douglas car. Oh, we've got lots of cars off in the background. That's the number three of... Noah Ping involved racing so far. We're going to take safety car and have a look at the review. So it started by the looks of it with um, Mackenzie Cressel looking at the inside of Dunn, but getting a bit too late there, which meant that he dragged the brakes into the corner. And then that is, I think that's easy. Uh, he, uh, it's a, whoa, whoa, now look at this. How about this for a train of cars into the bus stop chicane? Absolute gaggle of them. Oh, they can't well. make it all through safely. Cairoli goes round, as does the Ferrari Ferrari. We've got a traffic jam at the bus stop or some traffic and you want to get out of it like these guys were you might come into the pits yeah so let's have another look at it so it's the uh, uh is that the 169 uh ferrari for a challenge as well and it looked like there was a fourth car involved as well or uh, at least getting tagged oh it was both the greystone run mclarens had got caught up in that actually so the back straight because you get a kilometer an hour more there you're potentially going to get four or five cars down this long long misrail straight as you see cars running wide bit of contact car off maybe even into the wall there on the left hand side it's gonna be hard to get out of that gravel trap no matter how far off they've gone oh that's the barwell is that what, the barwell that's, car? that's a prime class leader car number <sighs> the Barwell Lambo in the middle of this pack there it is the just off, just it's, you've got the three wide in the middle and I think you're about to see Schultz get into it that's where he tried to go for the inside line and he just lost the back end trying to squeeze it in yeah the, the TV camera always flat and happy with his position he's going to be trying to follow that other Lamborghini in front opens up to him I think he's going to use a little bit too much curb on the left and also contact with the Mercedes oh. and it just bouncing around doesn't it just takes it around the weights on the front of the car and the rear comes around still a big old hit that into the wall yeah it's the slightest love tap and that's all it takes when you're already trying